So folks, uh, first thing we're going to do for the assembly is we've got our chair base. They want us to turn it upside down. We're going to put these two metric screws in here. I don't know whether why they didn't do all five of them. Uh, maybe it was to save space on the box, but uh, that's what we're going to do first. So we need... We're going to need these in a little bit, and we need this, and this guy is going to pop into there, and then the other one will go in like that. Can you hold that a second? I got to find the... We need a M6 by 20. So our bag of hardware, put the hardware. What'd you do with the hardware? Kid, did you lose it? <laughs> hardware. Oh, Alright, so in our thing here, we're looking for M6 by 20. And and lo and behold, there's no M6 by 20. That's M8. M8 by 20. M6 by 20, okay. With the rubber rings. So it doesn't say to use the rubber rings, so that must be for something else. So... We're going to put these in here. Can you hold that for me so I can tighten it down? And the supply at Allen Wrench. This is a lot easier having an assistant. I never have any help with my videos, folks. Um, you can tell from the unboxing that there wasn't any help. So rotate that all the way around to the the other one, please. And then the second one. And then hopefully the wheels are next. All right, step two is to put the wheels in. And then we'll be able to put this on the floor and build it up. So these probably might have to be punched in. Drop it down a little. So okay, just have to put a little more rotate. Trying to make sure I get the camera. Try not to knock over the camera. Okay, now you can put it on the floor. Over here though. Now we need, we're going to assemble this part, which is your, uh, your gas lift. And that's just gonna sit right on top there. Like so. All right, so now we're gonna put this on. This goes on only one way. If you do it the other way, uh, they'll fall apart. So that's on there. All right, folks, so here we are going to put
the footrest holders in our supports. And you need uh, four M6 by 35 screws. And the directions say not to over tighten, so. Now it looks like these are symmetrical. So basically you're going to tighten these down until they're tight. And I want to make sure I get the second one in here before I tighten the first one down. So I'm going to get the other one started. And then I'll tighten it down um, all the way, but we'll spare you guys from having to watch that part. All right, so we're gonna put the armrests on now. Uh, now it's important that you put the one on the right side, right? And the left on the left side. This is uh, facing forward, so this should be the right side over here. So just like the other one, we're just gonna get these screws in and then I'll tighten them up separately, but you'll need to do that at home. All right, so the right side is tight. And then you can see these, uh, you can move these out wider. And baby, you're gonna have to take that somewhere else. And this side is, oh, look at that. You can almost hand tighten that. So if you wanna have these extra wide for somebody that's a little bigger or closer in, uh, you might want to try it out on the floor. And so we'll tighten these up. All right, so part number C, part letter C. This is the uh, called the mechanism. This goes on here. And... Four of the M8 by 20 screws. Fasten that down. So we'll just get these uh, tightened by hand, and then you will have to use your Allen wrench to uh, finish tightening it. Hopefully all these will be nice and easy. So now we put the chair onto the base. Hopefully we can line this up. And it's in. So next we're going to put the connector in, and this is going to be interesting. Hold that for me, please. We're going to... Got two threaded holes down here. Can you hold it? Two holes. And that goes in there like so. And of course, luckily, the Allen wrench is uh, pretty useful here. 
So it's a good idea at this point to have some help because the chur moves. And this is on the left side of the chur. Part of the directions. All right, so now we've got the angle connector. This will adjust the back. Same thing with the, uh, these are M825 screws. So folks, this is a little harder to do. Probably gonna need the Allen wrench. Can you move this off side for me? So you have to get this screw started. It looks like I did. Oops. I got it, let go. Yeah. And you just tighten that one down and you're ready for the next part. All right, now to put the uh, the back piece in, or the back support. Oh, there are speakers on this side, okay. So we gotta, I'm gonna try and get one screw in on each side, folks, and then we'll switch to the other side. And whatever nut that's attached to seems to move around in there. Pull that. Okay, so then we just line that up. Whatever hole you can get it into. <laughs> Actually, do the uh, circle or the hole and then the slot next. Now I'll put the other one in. We can tighten it down. So two screws each side. around to get it in there all right so in this portion I'm gonna put this cover on and it uh, attaches with the m5 by 8 screw it doesn't look like it snaps in place so this is one of those you gotta eyeball it kind of things to get it lined up. And then once you get it lined up, screw it in. Oops. And 
And since we're on this side, we'll just finish this up. So there's two of these guys. This looks like it's the other side. And this up here that it does pop in or snap into place. So same thing, kind of line up the screws. So this would be a place where it'd be nice if the screw was just a little longer. Um, So that's how you do it. Snap this into the bottom, snap that in, and then you should be lined up, hopefully. And a couple of rotations. And that's in nice and tight. Now, the other side. All right, so now this side. Same deal. Have to line this up. you do you're golden all right folks so we're getting close now this video I'm not going to cover the Bluetooth portion as we uh, it's not charged up yet and another and a blind hole here. Tighten that up. And that's good to go, folks. A couple more things to go here. All right, so footrest. Basically got to just line this up with the holes, right? And then it's going to go in like that, okay? All right, so now we're going to put the headrest on and unbuckle that. And then, just so you can see me, buckle that in the back. Oops. So that's in. Looks better in the picture, huh? Uh, and then the, uh, the lumbar, which Interesting how this goes. We'll see how this goes together. All right, folks, so um, directions aren't too great on this, but uh, we're going to unbuckle these. And there's a gap underneath the back support part that we're going to wrap this through. GT Racing is going to be uh, angled up. And then hopefully this... We'll just fit through there and we'll bring this up and over. And you can adjust these. <laughs> you did that wrong. <laughs> Alright, so just so you can see it, the bands right here, they would go through this hole and you can see the back of the chair right there. So, um, so we're going to do that on the other side. I've demonstrated, I already got one side done. The second side, 
basically we're going to come up through here and in the back I'm going to attach this buckle assuming I can get it through the chair here we go and then you can see voila right so then to adjust the height of this thing you can just move the bands back and forth and that's basically all there is to this folks thanks for checking out the video Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.